And that, dear Scott, is the difference between a spider and an insect. <gasps> Ow! What happened, sweetie? I got stung by a bee. What kind of bee was it? Well, does it feel smoky and irreverent? Does it feel like you were taking a bath and someone dropped a hair dryer in? Well, looks like the stinger is gone, so we'll just put some ice on it. But it's about time I taught you about the Schmidt Sting Pain Index. So you know what stung you and how better to describe it. Let me tell you about Justin O. Schmidt. Schmidt studies insects, and way back in the 1980s, he was interested in learning how the amount of pain from a sting might be related to the biology of the insect. He was curious about questions like, are the stings of insects that live in social hives more painful than the ones that live alone? Or do wasps that hunt other insects have a stronger sting than bees that only feed on nectar and pollen? Do bigger wasps have more painful stings? To try and understand the range of sting types, Schmidt allowed himself to be stung by 78 different species of bees, wasps, and ants, and then ranked them all. Nowadays, we call it the Schmidt Sting Pain Index. A ranking of one isn't very painful, and a ranking of four is about as painful as it gets. Schmidt also came up with some pretty colorful descriptions of the sting effects. For example, he wrote that the sting of a fire ant feels sharp and sudden. Kind of like walking across a carpet and reaching out to flip on the light switch. Not very painful, right? But of the large tarantula hawk, which is one of the most painful stings you can get, he wrote that it was shockingly electric. Feels like someone dropped a hair dryer into his bathtub. That's how Justin Schmidt taught the world how to rank the pain of stinging insects. Wow, so cool! And that's how a tariff becomes a law. <gasps> Ow, not again! I got yai. What happened? What's wrong? I got stung by a fire ant. It feels sharp and sudden. A solid two on the Schmidt Sting Pain Index. I know how to describe these stings now. Thanks, Dr. Schmidt. If you want to learn more about insects of all shapes and sizes, visit the Nat.